Hello and welcome to Michelle World TV. On February 10th will be the Chinese New Year. And usually Chinese people prepare fish for the new year. It represents prosperity. So this is how they prepare it. But I added a little bit of my own touch. So let's begin cooking. Here we have our fish. It's a nice fresh fish and its eyes are nice and shiny. That's how we know that the fish is fresh. And it's already been cleaned. Everything from the inside was taken out. But what we're going to do is we're going to stuff it with some coriander, fresh coriander. Now we're going to cut some of this green onion into large pieces like so. Some spring onion. red bell pepper one clove of garlic finely chopped ginger inside the fish. Now we are going to cut the fish in slices like this. And add ginger inside. And again, we're going to put ginger inside like this. And let's begin by preparing some of the ingredients that are going to go on to the fish. It's going to be delicious. White part of the spring onion. Just cut it open in the middle. And then just thin strips. Ginger. Very fine, in a matchstick style. Same with the red bell pepper. I've got here a slightly sharper pepper, just a little bit of spice. And we're gonna cut this very finely. Just to add a little extra flavor. And of course, garlic. And some fresh coriander leaves. Now what we do next, we're going to put some green onion on the plate where we are going to steam the fish. And we're gonna rest the fish on that. Now we're going to cut some of this green onion into large pieces. And a little bit more garlic. We're going to put that on the fish like this. Now we are ready to steam. I started steaming the water already so that when I'm ready to cook, everything is prepared. I'm going to place my fish in the steamer. Add some salt. Some white pepper. 
and we're ready to steam. It takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes to steam the fish properly. I have here three quarters of a cup of boiling water to which I'm going to add one teaspoon of sugar. Make sure the sugar is completely melted before you continue with this process. Once the sugar is completely dissolved, we are going to add one quarter of a cup of soy sauce. Down to the last drop. One generous tablespoon of black bean sauce. Mix that in very well. You won't be needing any salt, that's for sure. Mix until very well combined. Now we're going to add a little bit of white pepper. This is to taste, actually, because each person likes pepper differently. Usually in Chinese cooking, white pepper is used. You can always add more white pepper later. Now we're going to turn on the stove and pour this into a pan, making sure everything is in there, all the black beans and so on. This is going to be so delicious. Black bean sauce is actually fermented soy and it turns brown. We want to add two tablespoons of cornstarch. Again, very typical in Chinese cooking. Let this mixture come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, you want to throw in all these vegetables and herbs that we cut previously. Now add one cup of water. Lower the heat to simmer and cook for about 10 minutes. The aroma is to die for. You know me, I like to taste before I serve. Oh, this is scrumptious. Just absolutely delicious. Let's prepare the garnish that goes on top of the fish. Spring onion. Fresh coriander leaves. And some sliced fresh red bell pepper. Next step, we are going to heat up some oil. This is canola oil. You can use any oil that withstands high heat. And we're going to use approximately two to three tablespoons. I steamed some sushi rice. You've got to have rice with this. What's wonderful about steamed fish is that it's very forgiving. You can't really overcook it. If you leave it a little bit longer than the time needed, nothing is going to happen. The fish is going to be tender and it's going to be soft and delicious. 
if you want to know whether your fish is ready or not, here's a trick. If the eyeball is completely white, your fish is ready. And we are going to pour this on top. Now we're going to take this extremely hot oil and we are going to pour it right over the fish. You're going to want to hear this sizzle. Oh yes. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Isn't that lovely? Next thing we are going to do is pour this lovely sauce over our fish. Now that's what I call heaven. I can't wait. I've got to give this a try right away. Oh my goodness, that little red pepper that I used, it came out really hot, very spicy, but it turned out delicious. Just be careful before you decide just how much pepper you want. I hope you enjoyed this cooking tutorial and I hope you will be back for more on Michelle World TV and I'll see you again soon. In the meantime, please subscribe, ring the notification bell, and leave a comment below. It really helps. Thank you very much and have a great Chinese New Year on February 10th, 2024. Bye!